Hey there folks, back at you with another video. Today we're going to do a toolbox tour and show you some of the stuff that I got in that box and uh, what the box is uh, made out of or consists of. So uh, please like and subscribe, it helps the channel out a lot, don't cost nothing. Let's get past the intro, let's get into this. All right, uh, a little bit about what I do around here. Um, I work on all kinds of vehicles from 1989. That's the oldest vehicles my customers have up to 2010, somewhere in there. Um, this box here has been an accumulation for, you know, for several years. So uh, the top and bottom here, the main box uh, is an uh, MB8535 Matco. Uh, bought that for 4800 bucks with the locker uh, was one whole unit uh, Then I added to the uh, it's an icon uh, Top box I added that to there that, that was about a thousand dollars. So now we're at 48 and Then uh, this here is a Matco 5s that used to be a cart 30 inches wide mounted that to it. Uh, that's where I got basically all my SAE stuff uh, bought that for 800 bucks, so then now we're at 6,600. And then that um, that was a wheel and deal the thing that comes by only once in a lifetime. I bought a snap-on box used uh, with this power cabinet that was on there, and um, I took the power cabinet off, hung it on this box, and then I sold the box, the snap-on box. For as much as I bought it for so I basically got that power cabinet for free so in this whole setup I got this whole setup for about 6600 bucks so all right let uh, let's get started here um, got my AC stuff in here and this here's just paperwork and stuff like that Uh, some of the stuff that I don't really use all the time, but it's nice to have. This here's a straight edge, timing light, and then I do work on some uh, transmissions once in a while. So that's my clutch compressor tool, and then, well, this here is pretty explanatory, so. Um, this is all my brake related stuff, uh, all kinds of fittings here, some tube benders, uh, caliper kit for the rear, caliper compressor, you need to have a good wire brush, and then some of the other stuff here, and then this here is uh, for uh, brake line repair. Uh, this is measuring and stuff like that So I got calipers right here um, feeler gauges um, That is a serpentine belt tool So and then some temp guns some markers some uh, spark plug gabbing tools And got some scrapers in here scrapers knives uh, things like that <clears throat> this is more my delicate stuff right here so I got my gear wrench uh, torque wrenches half inch 3 8 quarter and then my precision instruments right here <clears throat> excuse me half inch 3 8 this is a Napa inch pound uh, click style torque wrench and then I got my uh, my mirrors here my inspection mirrors these are pretty cool. If you push this right here, uh, you can move your mirror around. Screwdriver drawer and picks. So I got my Mayu. These are Lyle uh, clip tools or panel poppers or however you want to call them. Um, the Mayu small picks. Uh, the Mayu big picks. And 
snap on custom made radiator hose uh, picks because they have the black hard handle on them uh, got a video coming up on some of the custom made snap on screwdrivers and picks this here's custom as well so if you want to check that out uh, make sure you hit that bell and then my snap on screwdrivers right here uh, the vessel impactors and my ratcheting screwdrivers and then this here is the one that you can change the tip out it's just handy to throw in a, the go bag or you know stuff like that and you always got you know the right screwdriver with you basically uh, these are the Metco uh, hyper steps I got a couple of them that are upside down in there they need to be warranted but the Metco dealer uh, I've got to meet them in town some brushes files small ones big ones more brushes here now let's get into good stuff I'm gonna do this side to side so you can see how I got the box laid out all together um, Allen wrench is here from uh, Wera and then uh, some socket uh, sensor tool uh, so sensor sockets sorry some pipe plug sockets stuff like that some extra long Allen's and some homemade ones right here We've got some uh, magnet uh, magnets right here more Allen's here, that's all SK. Uh, some, uh, some of the other stuff here, and these are the, the plus. You need those when you work on uh, certain transmissions. And then my bits and my bit ratchets. And this is my big drawer right here. Um, these are made by Genius Tools. Um, I bought these for the case. So I've got regulars, impacts, and swivels, or swivel plus, however you want to call them. I use these a lot, and uh, they've been holding up really, really well, actually. I haven't broke one yet. Uh, that's all three-quarter stuff right there three-quarter drive and then my half inch right here deeps Cornwell uh, that's gear wrench uh, Cornwell uh, half inch drive swivels uh, Gear wrench again uh, half inch drive impact shallows These are the Olsas um, half inch drive uh, deeps and then uh, gear wrench half inch drive shallow six points and half inch drive 12 point don't need these a lot but you know sometimes if you get head bolts or whatever that are 12 points um, it's nice to have 3 inch deeps gear wrench quarter inch deep gear wrench uh, and these are my uh, Cornwell swivels quarter inch drive and 3 inch drive I use these the most um, and then uh, shallows, gear wrench, 3 8 shallow, quarter inch drive, gear wrench, magnetic sockets here, quarter inch drive and 3 8 uh, These are green pneumatic, uh, nano sockets, these are Sun X right here, 3 8 drive, deep gear wrench, and quarter inch drive, deep gear wrench. Uh, these are mitt uh, qu uh, gear wrench quarter drive 3 8 and just for fun a bottle opener and then uh, 3 8 drive shallow gear wrench quarter inch drive shallow gear wrench and then I got those in 12 points again uh, SK uh, but they're getting they're getting they're getting replaced by uh, Cornwell's. I've got those on order. They're not in yet. I jumped on the BOGO deal that they had. If you buy the 3H 
metrics you get this SAE for uh, for free so I bought the I got the three eighths and the quarters ordered so uh, then I would, now I will have SAE and metric and yes I still use SAE quite a bit so believe it or not uh, gear range bolt binders those are great uh, blue point right here uh, Tecton uh, 12 point deep I use uh, I use these for uh, turbo rebuilds on Ford 73s um, those are for fuel lines and then some adapter pieces right here um, these are actually pretty nice they're Cornwells and then I've got some uh, swivels here uh, these are Cornwells as well and these are Metco's and then I got some uh, CTA extra deep 3H drive and this this actually a pretty nice set it goes from 8 mil all the way up to 19 mil I believe 18 sorry uh, and then I got my ratchets here this is all quarter and then these two here are uh, 3H drive with quarter body don't need those all the time but you know the one time you do need it it's nice I used the banana you know I, I used the crap out of this one here this is one of my favorite ratchets snap on extra long handle uh, these are two Mac um, palm ratchets 3 eighths and quarter uh, I, uh, I like to use these with uh, if I have to run my uh, my taps and for threading <clears throat> I got 3 8 right here, 3 8 extra long. And that's all snap on as well. All right. And then this is my standard stuff. I've got the half inch drive ratchets in here. Um, those are snap on as well. This one here is the extra long one, 24 inch right here. Um, this is just some old stuff right here. Uh, three eighths, quarter, quarter, three eighths, and then this here is uh, three eighths shallow and deep impact from gear wrench. Same thing here, only then in quarter, uh, half inch drive, 12 points, half inch drive, um, gear wrench, impacts. Um, this here is half inch drive, 12 points. Uh, these are Napa. And then this here is uh, three quarter drive. SAE wrenches, uh, basically all gear wrench. Those are the long ones. These are the extra long ones. Those are really nice. Uh, got the full set of this here. That's gear wrench as well. Stubbies and then some El Cheapo line wrenches. Uh, John Deere crow's feet or line wrenches or however you want to call these right here uh, They're actually for the money. It's amazing how much torque you can put on these and they don't deform uh, Strongly recommend them believe it or not so uh, Some big crow's feet and then some service wrenches here um, Don't need those all the time, but you know when you deal with uh, aluminum fittings like on AC or whatnot I use a, a big wrench to break it loose and then I grab one of my service wrenches to finish You know to get them all the way off. It's easier than having this massive wrench. You have to swing around so This is all gear wrench as well the extra longs. This is all metric that was all metric too, by the way. Um, more metric here, a uh, full set of the regular wrenches from Gear Wrench. Still got a little bit of room there in the back. More Gear Wrench. This is some of the, these were the first ones that came out. So, I mean, they've been with me for a long, long time and they still hold up really well. So, metric stubbies. 
Uh, these are the swivels right here. You can move the head around and then lock it, lock it back in place. Don't need them all the time, but they're nice to have. Uh, gear range locking flex head. They're pretty nice as well. Don't use these all the time, but they come in handy. And then some gear range line wrenches. Um, some of the... Oh, wrong drawer, sorry. So this is a full set from gear range, and then there's a couple that didn't fit in there, so they're here with the jumbo wrenches. And then I've got uh, there's a homemade uh, wrench extender for the jumbo wrenches. Pry bars. Um, these are gear wrench, Metco. Um, this one here, I don't know what brand that is. And then Mayu uh, pry bars right here. These are the regular ones, and these are like the screwdriver style. Pliers. Uh, Knipex. This was the full set of Knipex. Uh, and then these right here. A couple uh, Knipex uh, pipe uh, pliers, or uh, wrench pliers, sorry. Uh, flush cuts, the shorty and the bigger. Uh, some side cutters. This is a gear wrench uh, double jointed side cutter. Uh, don't need this all the time, but uh, for cutting brake lines and whatnot, because it's all rusted over here in the rust belt, that's why I use this for. Uh, some snap on pliers right here. And then these are gear wrench double jointed. Uh, these are the hose pliers. And then some. Um, some needle nose. These are pretty good. And then I got some uh, laying uh, paint off pliers. Uh, Knipex um, snap ring pliers. Just got these here not too long ago. And then um, some more here. I use these for transmissions. And then these are. Uh, Post pliers as well and then two needle nose and then some regulars uh, that's Mac some big Knipex pipe wrenches here they work pretty good um, uh, chain wrenches right here uh, big 24 inch adjustable I mean she's a big one and then my three uh, three quarter drive ratchet and extensions and a breaker bar, some extra chain uh, for my uh, for my chain wrenches. And these are my uh, SAE jumbo wrenches. And then because that didn't fit all over in there, so the overflow of that goes into here. Uh, Cornwell wrench extender. Uh, I use this for semi axles, axle nuts, and then some uh, some specialty sockets here for Ford and whatnot. So, um, better skip that. Um, some line wrenches there, seal puller, hood prop, stuff like that. You know, yeah. Always can use a ratchet strap once in a while, some fender covers. Uh, this is my oh shit drawer. Uh, Lang rethreading set. Uh, big um, um, tap and die set, small tap and die set. And then some, uh, some of this stuff right here. Um, we all know what that is. Those are your tap sockets. Drill bits, uh, snap-on and blue point uh, extractors right here, left-hand drill bits, and then some more uh, taps right there. That's a really big one. 
And then hammers. Uh, rocking the trusty cooks right here. Uh, this is the one I use the most. Together with this one here. This was when I got this hammer. I don't know how long I bought it at Lowe's. And this, you know, this was before the Innovite was cool for Mac. <laughs> uh, Napa Air Hammer. Um, it does okay. It's not the greatest. It's not the worst either. Air Hammer Bits. Brass Punches. Brass Hammer. Uh, more punches right here. Uh, some chisels. Um, may you... Uh, bearing a race punch set and then some really big ones right here uh, We do I do work on farm equipment and tractors as well not as much as, as I used to So that's why I have some of the bigger stuff here uh, blow mold cases um, Master Lyle master line stopper sensor sockets I mean, it's all self-explanatory right there. Uh, Ford uh, broken spark plug uh, remover tool. Uh, Pyro steering wheel puller, or steering wheel puller, sorry. Pyro steering wheel pulley puller right here. Uh, and then a pickle fork set from Lyle that you can use with a hammer or an air hammer. Some more cases here. Um, this here is a uh, fan clutch kit, my ball joint stuff right there, uh, oil, uh, coolant, I'll leave that all in here. This is just my junk drawer with you know, all kinds of, you know, extra cookies and whatnot for my grinders and stuff like that. Uh, extra tool grit stuff here, some tape, stuff like that. Uh, very bottom right here. Uh, Cornwell inje uh, fuel injection kit, and that's for the diesel right there. Compression, transmission, the airlift <coughs> for coolant. Air power coolant. This here's a coolant pressure test kit, and then uh, leak uh, leak down tester right there. Uh, hub shocker, may you tie rod. Uh, and this here's a Calvin stut remover and installer kit. Um, I've got some stuff in here for five nine Cummins. Uh, use this for uh, GM transmissions to put the uh, rear seal in at the output shaft. Uh, it's kind, of, you know, it goes over. This here is big enough to go over the shaft, and then this plastic piece uh, help drive the seal in. That way, you can put it in nice and straight. Uh, bearing race and seal driver set right here. Uh, that's Harbor Freight, Lyle. I like this set a little better. Uh, more pull, uh, more pullers right there. Uh, quick connect compression tester right there. Uh, Posi lock uh, pullers right here. This is my big mamma jamma. I mean, this thing is. I mean, this thing is massive. And then uh, I got the smaller, uh, smaller, the bigger one over there. And then um, here, not too long ago, I bought this set, and uh, that's really nice. It's a two-piece set, two and five ton. Um, the legs snap into place and they stay, so uh, and you can use it for inner and outer. Uh, it's pretty nice. Cabinet. I still got to do something with this here because I don't like the way the leads are hanging. But uh, all kinds of crap right here, smooths and goos, I guess. And there's a bearing packer in the back there. 
Um, here I got my smoke machine with some baby oil to go with that. And then uh, my brake bleeder uh, set up right there in the back. Oh, sorry. Uh, brake clean. Uh, and this is my scanner. Um, <clears throat> electrics and diag stuff. So just I like this. I'm getting a little older, and I like this thing because just because of the simple fact that it has a nice big screen, so it's easy to read. And then uh, some relay testers here, uh, and some jumper cables and such. Um, there's a crimper tool, stripper, uh, fuse and relay puller, uh, especially on some of the newer stuff. Those really small mini um, mini uh, fuses that can get in there pretty tight, and this thing is pretty nice. It's cheap, but, you know, it's nothing great, but then some more stuff right here. I uh, use this for this is to. I use this for checking fuses real quick. You are the ground. I use this to check to check uh, uh, coils. And then this here, um, you put this on the spark plug uh, uh, line, and then you can see if it if you know it if you get spark or not. And then uh, give me one second here. There we go. And then uh, terminal cleaner, and this basically battery stuff. I use this for uh, GM. You click this on there, and then you can put your clamps on there or whatever to charge the battery up or to test or whatever. Pretty comes in pretty handy. That stinking drawer. I swear it needs some work. Uh, more testing stuff. Uh, spark checker. Uh, back probing kit, uh, diamond tipped uh, terminal cleaner, some of that cloth wrap, battery uh, terminal uh, crimper, some heat shrink, and then, well, this is pretty much self explanatory right here. And this, this set here, I want to hang that up in the door too, but I need to get me a, a setup to have it organized. Uh, power probe three, power probe more power probe stuff, uh, and this handy half for if you do AC amp out. Don't use it all the time, but the one time you get a battery, you know if you get a parasitic draw, this is nice. Uh, battery tester from Cornwell, uh, inspection endoscope right here. Uh, this is the big jump starter that I got or jump pack. And then I've got some uh, oil filter tools here, funnel, you know, and then sometimes I use this on filters. Slam it up in there, pull it out, let the filter drain out before you pull the filter off. Especially on, on really big filters, that's pretty nice because otherwise it can be such a mess. Uh, and then some stuff I use for this for transmission. This is just some regular grease. And this is some uh, can't wait jelly, I guess. Um, that's great for you know rubber o rings and stuff like that. Well, we're getting there, guys. Uh, this is my overhead cabinet. I've got uh, my three quarter inch torque wrench right here. I've got a torque multiplier right here in the back. Um, I've got some of my books there. Um, hydraulic uh, plugs for hydraulic lines. This is a um, siphon hose. And then I keep some extra stuff in here. Uh, filter for my vacuum, uh, you know, rags. Gotta have some candy for my kids. Small jump pack that I use for um, just regular cars. And then I got some tags here with a, you know, uh, that I put on my customer's keychain so I can keep track of what is what. Um, 
And then I got some more stuff here. Hand cleaner, tub of towels, uh, my boom box, uh, my F Milwaukee fan. Um, I really like that when you have to work in the summer, when you have to work inside of the vehicle, you could put this on the passenger seat or whatever and uh, you can actually blow some air. And then I got uh, my small toolbox here. I got some, you know, bu some business cards in there, uh, keys for this box and my other boxes, some markers, and then some random small parts that, you know, they may come in handy. So, and then that's where I keep my paperwork for my customers. And then this here is, uh, I broke this the other day. I'm a little sad about that. So Cornwell guy, when he stops in, we'll get that warrantied out together with this bit. This Cornwell bit as well. Uh, three and 4K, um, uh, Governor Springs for P pump that vi there's a video coming up on that and uh, fuel pressure regulator for that as well like I said there's a video coming up on that where I'm gonna do that and uh, show you the difference and in, uh, in the performance when you put that on uh, my Astro these are my by far my favorite lights this is the Astro 52 SL charge pad right there I got my other lights right there and then I got my um, three-quarter drive with a half inch drive adapter uh, breaker bar it's a big mamma jamma that's a Tecton one that's a no-name junk half inch drive breaker bar don't need it all the time but I didn't want to throw it away because sometimes it does come in handy and then my big pry bars right here may you and then I got my long extensions right here, quarter inch drive, a full variety, and then um, a half inch and three eighths drive. And this one here, nope, this one here is a gear wrench, has the lock and tip on that. I use that a lot if you have to do transmissions. And then I got magnets on there so it stays all in place. Power drawer! power bank uh, Milwaukee half inch drive high torque Milwaukee half inch drive mid torque uh, 3 8 stubby quarter inch impact little Milwaukee screw gun handy to have love that thing love this thing too believe it or not uh, I use this a lot especially with my uh, <coughs> Cornwell quarter inch drive swivel impact sockets I mean that's a great combo um, 90 degree angle gr die grinder here from Milwaukee um, it's just nice to have it's not the highest performance one but just for a quick grab to do a little bit of cleanup that thing is great uh, this is where you when you pull this one out you know you're gonna be in trouble Milwaukee 90 degree uh, drill this the Milwaukee uh, hammer drill and then I got my uh, I made this here because I was running out of room so I got a little got a little extra cubby there just like you're on the top put it right there so and then this is my Milwaukee quarter three eighths and this the one that I modified got some videos on it quarter inch body 3 8 anvil um, I did order the new one it's on its way so whenever it comes I'll do a video so make sure you you know like and subscribe and hit that bell and you know you can stay up to date on some of the stuff um, I'll leave I got some of the discs and stuff like that in here uh, for my uh, grinder uh, batteries I like to use these on my impacts they're a little longer so therefore if you got a socket on your half inch drive impact the impact don't want to tip over you can actually just set it down because that makes it <clears throat> makes a big difference compared to uh, to these so it makes all the difference believe it or not so 
I don't have them because they perform great. I just have them because they makes it a little lighter and gives them a little better footing. So <clears throat> this here's my big uh, one inch drive from Milwaukee. And I still got uh, a one inch drive air as well to that regard. You can't beat air. And then some of the adapter pieces here for that have a one inch drive. Uh, one inch to three quarter another extension here and then some of my most used sockets here for semi wheels so yeah so this is what we got this for the workout every day um, yeah so please like and subscribe helps the channel out a lot don't cost nothing and uh, we're going to catch y'all on the next one Peace out.